Hi everybody. We're down here in the bottom. He's uh, round bailing today. Just going to take you along here so you can kind of see how this goes. So he just kind of drives over top the windrow and it sucks it up into the baler. This is normally one of our fields that we square bale, but we still had quite a bit of first cutting left over from last year, so we decided to round bale the first cutting this year, and then we'll make squares off of it on the next cutting. He's gotten quite a few bales already and still has about half the field left to go. If we would have square bailed it, he said probably been close to a thousand bales, so it was pretty thick this year. We'll just follow him along here until he finishes this bale and I'll show you how it comes out of the baler. I don't know if I can get up here in front of him so you can kind of see it getting sucked into the baler or not. But it just gets pulled up through with the, the teeth there. There's a little lever on the front of it that will uh, let you know when you're at the full size of the bale. And then the back of it here, you can see those black belts, they roll around and that's what rolls it and makes the bale tight. should be just about full with that one, I would think. As you can see, this is the wind row beside him. It's pretty tall. It's up to my knee. All right, he's got this one finished. So what he's going to do is he's going to back up here to the side because the way the wind's blowing, when he opens it up, then all that dust blows back on top of him, so... He kind of backs off to the side here. And then it just... There's a little lever on there that you move and it'll pull the strings across and tie the bale once you have it the size you want it. And he shuts it off and then the bell comes out then he has to pull ahead it doesn't have a kicker on the on the bottom of the baler there so the bell don't really roll out away from it so he has to pull ahead and then drop the tailgate back down and then he'll kick the belts back on and he just keeps going this is our baler we just got last year towards the end of the season because our other one I 
the last field I was bailing one of the shafts broke on it so so we upgraded last year our baler was a 4x4 four four. this year that we bought it's a 4x5 so they're five foot you can make them five foot tall and then they're just four foot wide so you can get a little more hay in these than what you could with the four by fours uh i like these ones better the ones we made last year because they when you unwrapped them took the twine off of them to feed they seem like they unwrapped a lot easier the older baler we had you can see the strings right here a lot of times when you was unwrapping them it seemed like they were another layer was getting put on top of it once you were wrapping i don't know if you guys can see the the string there uh, they have it where you can have a net wrap on it as one of the options for the newer balers. Um, so what it does, it puts a net wrapping around it so you don't have the twine. It's a lot easier to unwrap them, but also costs a little bit more too for the for the wrapping than what it does just for the baler twine. So. They told me to come check over here by the field. You can see in there or not. We found another little baby deer. He seen it today when he was raking. A lot of times the moms like to have them in these hay fields and hide them because of the tall grass. So that way it kind of keeps them away from the predators. The only bad thing is, is sometimes he doesn't quite see them when he's mowing if they don't move around a lot. He pays good attention and tries to stop in time, but it's not always possible. This little guy's hiding out over here, so we'll just leave him alone and Mama should come back this evening. A lot of times they hide them kind of like the cows they'll leave them sit or lay somewhere until why they're you know during the day why they're out grazing and eating and then they come back in the evenings and find them and then that way they can eat and stuff so well as you can see he's still got about uh four or five more windrows there he's got to pick up and then we'll go back up to the house and finish a little bit up there. Just kind of wanted to show you guys how the round baler worked. Hello everyone. I don't know what all they got for video for you. So we're still bailing. I got just a couple rows here to bail. So I'm gonna show you here. Got one ray that's full. I'm gonna get ready and tie it. Kick it out. I don't know if you can see a little indicator here. Everything's manual on this one, but it's down here by the red. That's five foot. This little indicator here shows you where the twine's going on at. And this little toggle switch right here. That's what controls putting the twine on. You gotta do it all manually here, so I'm gonna bump it and you can watch the twine or move there. Then you should see the string on the front start jumping. There it just started jumping, taking off, so that's all the way to one side, and then we just bump it. Then we'll see it come back. The longer we leave it in one spot, the more string it puts on. Pretty simple concept. All the new ones are all electronic. They got computers. They do it all manually. It just has a buzzer, tells you when to stop, and it automatically puts the twine on for you. So now we're gonna shut the PTO off and open up the tailgate. You should see the tailgate up there in the air. There's a tailgate up above a baler. 
Now the bale kicked out. We'll pull forward and close our tailgate back up. There you can see our indicator now went back up. When it gets down there to the red, that's when we got a full bale. We're making four by five bales, so. Our old baler was a four by four. This one here you can make, you know, three foot tall, four foot tall, five foot tall, whenever you want. So, I'll take you for a little ride. Make another bale here. jump off here might be a little quieter you can hear me now here's one we got left the bale yet uh, I gotta get off here and get moving I still gotta finish this and we still got a little bit at the house I gotta get rolled up tonight it's getting evening time here now but thought we'd stop take a look at the baler 
It is a Heston 745. It is a 4x5 round baler. Here's a look at the bale. Real nice. Tight bales for age of the baler and what it is. Uh, it almost uh, makes me cry rolling these up. This field was planted, uh, I believe, five years ago now for square bale market. Do all this in square bales usually and sell it. But we do have some leftover from last year in the barn taking up space. This is first cutting, so we chose to roll it up in round bales this year. It's a first, but you do have to change things up once in a while. So, that's the way we can get first cutting off. Second cutting can start growing. Second cutting will be all square baled, and we usually, hopefully weather permitting, should be able to get a third cutting also. So kind of saving the space for the second and third cutting. So that's why we chose to roll it up. We should have some very happy cows this winter we'll be feeding this to. So this will just be a, a treat for them every once in a while. They'll probably stick their nose up at the other round bales we try feeding them. But All right, guys, just wanted to give you a little show of the bale in there, kind of demonstrate how it ties. Like I say, this is the older style, basically all manual. See a lot of other channels, they got the newer equipment, got the computers on it. Like I say, it's all auto tie, just has a beeper. Tells you when to stop, it ties, and you kick the bale out. But this works for our operation. Uh, kind of like things being simple. Don't have to worry about it computer burning up on the baler or shorting out or not working when you want to make hay so I did fail you guys in raking this field I guess I failed raking all together in this video but this is the field I showed you tedding so I missed this morning raking it kind of forgot all about you but thought I'd give you a quick glimpse of baling and we've got plenty more hay to make so we will show you that operation and show you some more don't have a bale count yet but we got quite a few sitting out here so we're pleased with it all right we will probably let you go we'll end this video here i'm guessing so like subscribe leave some comments let us know what you think uh talk to you next time